Hi, I'm John Porter, and in this video I'm going to take you through transferring a call using Link. So the incoming call has been accepted. As we can see, this person is now wanting to speak to someone else. So we've taken the details and we're looking to see if the person's available. So all we do is call OCS user 2, who they're wanting to speak to. It automatically puts the original call on hold, they're waiting on the other person answering. Now they've answered, so we can talk to them and say, you know, Link User 2 is wanting to speak to you, do you want to take the call? They say yes. We click the drop down arrow that says transfer, and we're looking for our current conversation, who is OCS user. When we click that, it automatically transfers the call. We need to do nothing else. As you can see, both those users are now in a call to each other. So, that was quite quick, so maybe we should run through that again. So we'll just use exactly the same scenario, and we'll have Link User 2 phoning me, and I'll be transferring them to OCS User with a console. So there's a call coming in. I want to speak to OCS User. All we do is we phone them. Automatically it puts their call on hold, as you can see. We're waiting on OCS User answering. They answer the call, we speak to them, we say we've got a call for you, we go down, current conversations, click OCS user, and the call gets transferred automatically. Now that's great, that's fine if you've got the people in a group or you've got them on your list. But what would you do then if you needed to transfer it to someone that you don't have to hand? So we can look at that scenario as well. So, we have our incoming call, so as before we answer the call, find out they now want to speak to Brian McEnroy. We don't have Brian McEnroy in our list of people. So, put the call on hold manually, and then we go to the transfer arrow, click on that, and we're looking, we see he's not in that list, so we look for another personal number. And then we just start typing his name in. So Brian, they start appearing and then there we can see Brian McEnroy. He's in a meeting and he's been away for five minutes so there's not much point in calling. If we press that call button it would just do the same procedure as before. If we wanted to transfer the call without any more communication we would just say OK. So there's no, no one else there available to take the call, so we just cancel it. We resume, and then tell the person that unfortunately no one's there to take the call at the moment. And then we just hang up. So that concludes this video on how to transfer a call, and we'll catch up again soon. Bye.